It's a Sunday afternoon, Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with Steve Phillips and John Crack. I'm Gary Thorne. Action coming. Can you contain him? Buster Posey, one of the game's great young players. Let's see if he's a major factor in this one. We are live at AT&T Park, baseball, San Francisco, on a beautiful day by the bay. We'll have a chance to watch Barry Zito go to work on the mound in this game. Steve, he faces this Texas lineup today. What's his focus? Well, command and location of the fastball is critical for Barry Zito. Just throwing in the upper 80s right now. If he makes a mistake, it can be hit. But if he does locate that pitch, it makes his secondary pitches that much more effective. Obviously, his curveball would put away pitch. Here's a chance to show you that lineup for the Rangers. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, a guy that has the potential every year to put up monster numbers, and that's Adrian Beltre. We know about his defense, one of the greatest arms as far as third basemen go in baseball today. The consistency at the plate, though, is what he has to have if he wants to be considered one of the best ever. Leadoff hitter, Elvis Andrews. For the Texas Rangers, shortstop, number one, Elvis Andrews. And it's 0-1. Zito gets him looking. I did not swing at that pitch. I mean, he throws your fastball right down the middle. You got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. And here's the pitch. Ground ball, Andrus. One away. Here's a look at how the Giants will line up defensively. John, uh, who's a factor for them? Well, Gary, all you want is someone to give you his all, and Cody Ross is going to do that. Doesn't have the greatest of range, but he can play all three outfield positions, and he plays them with reckless abandon. He's going to dive for balls, he's going to run into walls, and do anything he can to help his team win. And we've got Kinsler batting. And you know, guys, when you're putting a team together and you can get offensive production from a middle infielder like you can with Ian Kinsler, you know you have something special. And he has a chance to me to be one of the elite second basemen in all baseball. Right, and it's 0-1. Zito gets him looking. John, you were talking about Kinsler as an elite player. One of the great things about having him at second base and at the plate is that he gives you power. Second base is some push you get a lot. No, and listen, he's clearly been part of the resurgence of this Rangers franchise. They're getting themselves to a World Series and now wanting to sustain this level of success, they need him to be productive. Circle change, can't find the zone, two and one. A rematch of the 2010 World Series, some great memories for the Giants and not so great memories for the Texas Rangers. Two on pitch, a bullet taken for a call, strike two. Probably in last year's World Series, Steve, Giants won. That was unexpected, but really the domination in the series, no one thought that would happen. Well, it wasn't so much the domination of the Giants pitching. We knew they were going to pitch well, but it was the Giants offense. They found that offense. It came to life in the World Series. Here's a big pitch to Kensler. That one fouled off by Kinsler. And on a full count, lays off that one, misses ball four. But you know the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. And uh, we'll give Josh Hamilton the opportunity here with a runner on. Well, guys, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better all-around player in baseball than Josh Hamilton. The potential of being the number one pick by the Devil Rays came to fruition in Texas in 2010. Nothing on a field this man can't do. Power, speed, can steal a base, can do anything. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. And for Hamilton, uh, 100 RBIs, and that came even when he missed almost 30 games. MVP for the Rangers, uh, Steve, John, that was just a great season, a great story. You know, guys, you think of all of the things this young man's gone through, the trials and tribulations, living a life of recovery right now and reaping the benefits of that. He is as consistent an offensive player as there is in the game. That falls in, first hit of the ball game. You now want your hitters to go with the pitch. Range. Don't try right to field force field things. The ball's away, he drives it away. Through. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. You did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. And stepping up to the plate, here's Nelson Cruz. He has one hit, 12 at bats, not much lifetime against the Giants.
Hamilton's your runner at first base. Kensler's the runner at second. Strike cut one. fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Well, he throws his cut fastball hard and it has that good movement. He still gets that up in the zone. Was able to blow it by him at the level. That swung on and a liner here. Pajada for one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. Boy, he keeps the runners right where they are. So now it's just an out away from working his way out of danger. Keeping this game tied. Here's Adrian Beltre, two outs and two on.